Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is actually happening right now. <laughs> another coupon in the mailbox. Another bus, another train track. Another broken stain mattress where my brain rots. What's up, you guys? It's Goldie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have not posted a video in almost six months. If I'm not mistaken, that is insane. I used to post videos every single Thursday, but then just a bunch of things happened. Got into a long distance relationship, and then seven months later, he decided to pop the question. I said, um, of course, no brainer. That was like the easiest question I ever had to give an answer to. So um, then three months later, we got married. It was the absolute best day of my life. Everything I could have wanted. Goodness. It was all amazing. It was the best, all of it, every single step, and it was special in its own way. And so many people helped me out to make it happen, and I'm so grateful. The wedding was December 2nd of 2017, and now we are in March of 2018. So yeah, it's been, uh, what, three months since then, and um, I honestly have missed making YouTube videos quite a bit. And here's a little update on my life and on why I have not been able to post YouTube videos anymore. Now I live here in California with my husband and he has a CrossFit gym um, but he owns that gym and he is the coach there and he runs that business. He had a meal prep company, well a meal prep service that he had been offering to his clients but didn't have enough time to put into growing the business or branding it or anything like that so um, whenever we were about to get married he was like hey I have this meal prep service that I offer to my clients would you I don't know if it's something you're interested in but I would totally give you the business you could take it over you could do whatever you want with it put all your creativity into it um, grow it I mean I was like absolutely yes you know I had a corporate job in Texas this is my dream like I've always wanted to be my own boss I've always wanted to be able to determine what my schedule was going to be and I just more than anything want to be able to help others, help other people and I know that sounds kind of cliche but being able to help or impact other people's lives in a positive way is what I define as success as far as a job or anything like that so that's where we're at now and I, um, the meal prep service that he was offering I created JC Meal Prep Company so that is the business name that is our service. Um, you could check us out on Instagram and it's growing and it's amazing and it's, I just love every second of it. I also have plans on becoming a coach um, at John's Gym, which is CrossFit Saved. Honestly, I didn't even know what CrossFit was until I moved here, or actually until I started dating John. I had kind of like heard about it, seen stuff on TV, these like extremely strong women and men <laughs> that did crazy things and I was like, oh my gosh, like that's crazy, I don't know if I could do that. But really it's for everyone at every age and it's what's helped me eliminate fat and of course John taught me all about diet, like the real concept of nutrition and how to feed your body. So it's so cool because I want to start doing all of that stuff, coaching, CrossFit coaching, nutrition coaching. Um, my husband came out with a nutrition plan to help people lose weight and keep it off, so really lose fat, shed that fat. So it's honestly been amazing and this is just me sitting down with you guys, giving you an update on everything because I've been severely MIA on my channel. But I'm really going to make it a point to change that to try to post more frequently um, although I can't commit to every Thursday again I'm definitely gonna try to post more often comment below on which social media you use the most is it Instagram Facebook is Facebook still a thing I'm just kidding YouTube you know where do you think you spend the most time because it's interesting to me to see what's kind of taken over so as of next time I will definitely be posting that how to keep a wedding under a budget and I'm gonna pick $5,000 budget because that was my budget and we did it and we actually ended up gaining money <laughs> um, instead of going into debt so that was really cool I'll share those tips with you but until next time it's a pleasure to be here and I'm so excited to start recording again and I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comments um, yeah just let me know what you think. Bye!